Hi, button. Hi. Turn off the mute. Lower left hand side. Can you hear me now? Yep, loud and clear. Thanks for the chance to catch up. Even though it's video, it's nice to see you. I will see you soon. I had to work after studying. Work? Yes. There was a mailman earlier, and right after that, someone tried to deliver flowers. Flowers? Yes, flowers. Don't worry, I scared him away. He took the flowers too, so we're safe. Oh, I see. How was school? What did you learn today? I learned a new word. What word? Prodigal. P-R-O-D-I-G-A-L. Prodigal. Big word. Do you know what that means? Kind of. It's someone who doesn't take care of what they have by buying everything. Yes, that's right. According to the dictionary, it's a person who spends money in a recklessly extravagant way. It's a big word. Do you ever use it? Sometimes. It makes me think of Luke 15. Luke 15? Yes. Do you remember when we were talking about the lost sheep? And it was about that. There was a hundred sheep and one wandered off. And the shepherd was very upset. And he went to go look for the sheep. And when he found the sheep, he was rejoicing. I do remember. And Jesus said, I tell you that in the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to re repent. <clears throat> wow, great memory. You're correct. Just think about that time you lost your favorite toy, Mr. Snake. You have lots of toys, but you were determined to find Snake. And when you did, you were so happy. My tail wagged for hours. I do remember. Yes, I was so happy. That's how God feels when we aren't lost anymore. I never want to be lost. That's why I wear tags on my necklace. You're silly. <laughs> I know. Wait. I think I hear the UPS truck. It's okay, he drove by our house. Thanks for always protecting our home and us. You're welcome. Thanks for treats. Now let's go back to Luke 15 and discuss the prodigal son. Prodigal, P-R-O-D-I-G-A-L. Good work. So Jesus told a story about a man who had two sons. The younger son said to his father, Father, give me my share of this state. He wanted it then. So the father divided it, the property between the brothers. Estate, what does that mean? An estate is all money and property owned by a person or family. Why did his youngest son want all of it now? Was he going to put it in the bank? Okay, this is where prodigal comes in. His son left home, spent everything he was given on stuff, just stuff, things he didn't need and things that wouldn't last. The money from the estate just poof, and it was gone. Oh no, did he get a job? He did, on a farm, a pig farm. He was sad, lonely, and hungry, and he wanted to get back home to his family. I bet his dad was so sad when his son was away. Indeed, yes, I'm sure he was. Did he make it back home? He did. Was everyone so happy to see him? Well, his dad was overjoyed seeing his son. So excited. The son apologized to his dad, too, for leaving home and, well, being a prodigal. So his dad, being just out of the moon happy, threw a feast for him, a celebration of his son returning, and they had barbecue and everything. Oh, that's so nice. He didn't get mad at his son for leaving and spending all of the money? It's like the sheep, right? Mm-hmm. His son was lost and now is found. Yeah. Was his big brother happy he came back home? Not exactly. He was a bit upset that his dad threw a party for his son who ran away when he was always there working hard and being reliable and doing what his father asked. He was a good son, but his dad never threw a party for him and his friends. Did he tell his dad that he was mad because everyone was celebrating his brother? He did. What did he say? My son, the father said, you're always with me and everything I have is yours, but we have to celebrate and be glad because the brothers of yours who was lost, is now found. So God is happy when we get lost, but find our way back. Yes, that's right, Button. Would you like to say a prayer? Sure. Lord in heaven, hear my prayer. Keep me in your loving care. Be my guide in all I do. Bless all those who love me too. 
And thank you for celebrating the lost when they are found. Amen. Thank you for that prayer, and I re really appreciate you. Thanks for seeing me, meeting with me. I have to go, though. The neighbors are home, and I need to stare at them. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. I love you. I love you.